What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. That's right baby, we're back and today we are going to be starting up the brand new DLC that just dropped for this game. The Frozen Wilds. It unlocks a brand new section of the map, all sorts of new missions and areas to explore with our girl Aloy. And uh, man, I could not be more excited. Honestly, I truly think that Horizon Zero Dawn is my favorite game of the year. I, I think it was just absolutely incredible. It's a brand new IP that we've never seen before. Brand new story. And um, I couldn't be happier with it. So we're gonna see what we could do here. So you guys could see we are, are heading north here. We wanna get on this road. And if we keep going north, we're gonna get into a brand new, totally covered up section of the map that we haven't seen before. So it looks like we wanna cut a left here, get on the main road, and then just kind of follow that up. Let's do it, boys. Man, I'm excited. This is gonna be cool. So this is the northernmost section of the map. We haven't ever been this far north before uh, in terms of the main campaign. So obviously, Snow themes, so we're gonna have all sorts of new enemies to fight and and all kinds of stuff. I'm curious as to uh, as to how the story progresses, like what our actual objective is gonna be. So I'm gonna keep on heading towards this new uh, this new area, and so I guess we'll find out the answers to all of our questions when we get there. So we've got a weird looking like neon tree sign thing. I'm not even sure what it is. We've got a bunch of these things kind of leading our way. This must be, must be the sign of the new DLC. All right. So we're just gonna follow these things all the way through, I guess. This is interesting. You don't look like you know this path, Hunter. Who is this? Seems you're a long way from anything. Where does this trail lead? For me, it leads south, away from the Banuk, past the Grave Horde. Banukai, watch over me. This is the quickest way out of the cut, instead of going all the way through Osteram territory. And take it from me, you want a quick way out of the cut. I haven't even arrived yet. Why would I want to leave? Strange machine attacks? A curse on the mountain? It's enough to make me look forward to Meridian. Hmm. Let's talk about these these machines what and this curse. Strange machines. And what kind of curse? Machines tougher and crazier than anything in the south, I heard. Uh-oh. And smoke comes off the mountain like a funeral pyre all day and night. But like I said, I just pass through now. What sort of place is the cut? It's on the edge of everywhere. The edge of Bon Or, the edge of the mountains, the edge of other tribes' territories. It's suffered in the war with the Karja. But it suffered before that, too. Life there is a test. To survive out on the edge. Not exactly homey. I can see why you'd want to move on. <laughs> Home is what you carry in a roll on your back. But why would you want to go to Meridian? You're going to Meridian. Yes. I was named an envoy to the Karja King's Court. No one else wanted to do it. It's not so bad. I just... Recount the songs from Bon Or, and the Karja draw their funny little glyphs. I tell them of the machine's growing anger, and the Karja King still offers aid, even though he knows the Banuk will not accept it. All right. Well, Interesting. Well, thanks for the warning. I'm curious about these machines, though. And the warning rolled off you. I understand you adventurers are all alike. Good luck. I mean, that's a... That's a little bit concerning. It sounds like it's a bigger deal than we expect. Go ahead and take all these things. Another crate here looks good. I'm trying to relearn the controls, to be honest. It's been a good six months here, since we've played this, so. This path leads to the cut. The Banuk have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking. Rost used to tell me stories about the Banuk and their shamans, and how they thread blue cables through their skin. Kind of like someone else we know, huh? Oh! So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future. 
or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you do as you wish. Mm. Touchy. Dude, I didn't even think about that. Silence does have like the blue vein thingies all throughout. Like in his head and stuff, in his arms. Alright guys, here we go. So it's got a, a little thing on the back we'll be able to tear off as well as those two explosive things on its shoulders. Holy cow. We just got fire resistance from those things back there and Aloy said she could see the heat coming off it. So I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming it's some sort of a fire predator. Alright. I said I was trying to get used to the, um, used to the controls. We could probably sneak around this guy. But honestly, I think it's time to go ham. I, I truly think it's time to go ham. So we're going to go for the uh, the hard point arrow, the high, high tear ability. And as soon as this guy goes by, we're going to shoot that thing on his back. Second time, but that's okay. Oh shoot! All right, circles dodge, circles dodge. Woo! Yep, he's got fire abilities, dude. Jesus! There we go. Okay, this dude's this dude's pretty legit. Critical hit. Let's go, baby. We got him. 11,000 XP. This was a demonic scorcher. Okay. I'll take all that. Let's go, boys. That was, uh, that was pretty insane. All right. Our first fight. First fight with an enemy. Here in the frozen wild. That was pretty nuts. These things have definitely, uh, they've definitely stepped their game. If that's our first enemy that we've encountered, obviously they're gonna get a lot tougher than that. And that, I don't know, I mean, I think it's partially because I just haven't played in six months, so I gotta get my, my controls back under me. But I, I don't feel like we did bad there at all. We could have set up some traps and stuff, but that guy was good. We can freeze rhyme root. I don't remember getting that in the past. But yeah, we easily could have just gone around him. You always gotta remember, stealth is a great option in this game. Okay, that's a welcome, I guess. Frozen Wilds. Outlander on the mountain. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or what. <laughs> you sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Huh. Okay. So it seems like they're friendly. They may not believe in us. They may think we're, we're lesser because we're from the southern portion of the map, but... It doesn't seem like we're enemies, that's for sure. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Okay, so these people are very high and mighty about their their tribe. Ooh, look at this. Smoke rising from the mountain. And the village too. What's it for? Is it a volcano? That was my first thought when we were talking to that girl earlier. Investigate the source of the smoke. So these people all look like silens. Can't really see their faces and stuff. The young hunters have learned a lesson from Thunderstrom. Sometimes 
Loss is the price of survival. So I guess we just wanna... Must be something big going on. Our Back shaman the has abandoned us. Towards that smoke. Our chieftain has Head towards that mountain. Go ahead and quick save right here. Good stuff. Oh, there's some sort of congregation going on. Sorry I'm late to the party, people. I'm ready for some action, though. Let's get it. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Burgrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. There's lightning coming out of that smoke. That's not a volcano. Whoa, what? Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! In your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. Go, Team Banuk! The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. Hmm. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Hmm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth, filled with wild animals. You'd think they'd accept a little 
reasonably priced aid. Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them, but a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Interesting. I'm gonna see if he knows anything about Silence. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin, like a shaman? Uh, I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. Uh-oh. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. <laughs> Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. Good luck. Appreciate it, Bergrens. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rats. <sighs> I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. All right. Tell me more about Araya, Thunderstrom. Might be worth a shot. So we've got to go find her, uh, her apprentice, and then he's gonna lead us to her. Okay. Let's do this. I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines. I've got to find Araya. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. So this is kind of like, um... This is kind of like one of those underground layers that we were exploring in the main game. I forget what they were called. Like, not a dungeon, but we had these different strange equipment. What was this place? Different things we would go down into. A little bit creepy. What is a shaman doing down here, dude? I'm getting odd vibes. Locked. Maybe my focus can help. Looks like the door's wired. Something over here. Okay. Let's go investigate the source over here. Try to unlock this door if we can. So this was some sort of like workplace or something, I think. I don't know. Something. This is odd. What am I supposed to do with these lights? These things turn, changing the flow of light. Are we supposed to get data to this? All right. Let's see if the door's open. I think we got it. Nice job, boys. Open this thing up if we can. Nice! Great work, Aloy. Interesting. Looks like we got lots of climbing to do here, folks. Up 
jumping at him. What is this? Some sort of elevator shaft or something? I don't know, dude. This is weird. I don't see a shaman unless she's a badass. I mean, I guess we haven't met her yet. I just don't see a shaman oh, fresh air ahead. doing all this. Unless they used weird shaman ritualistic powers to get to the top of the mountain. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. You didn't have to. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Right. Whew. It's a long way down. Don't fall, Aloy. Over here. What is this, like a helicopter pad? Dude, this is weird. This is really weird. I'm not sure what to expect out of it. I could forget what warmth feels like out here. I'm surprised we don't need like a special outfit to survive the cold. We're sitting here in a short sleeve t shirt. We're fine. She has to be in here somewhere. Another little audio clue here. Yo, girl, where you at? She's got all sorts of blue gleam all over the place. Does she have a little earpiece too? She must, right? To be able to get through all these doors and stuff? Ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? She's got the stuff in her skin like, uh... I can't help you if you won't speak. Like Silence did. Whisper is all I ask. To guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I use one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. All right. I got the power, baby. Let's do this. We're at the source node. The goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. Get the light back to the source. Okay, so that's... That's what our goal was before. I got it. Oops, wrong way. Done deal. Oh, shoot. No, I didn't. I thought that was, okay, that's that's my fault. Okay, so we, uh, we don't want to go that way. We're gonna have to go this way, I believe. Maybe it's one of those ones where we want to go backwards. I'm getting real crazy at this point in time, boys. This is slightly ridiculous.
I think we got it. That's what we wanted, right? It's back to the... S oh, do we need to go through these things? I... I wish we had an overview of this. If I had an overview of this, I could figure it out really, really quickly. We might have to go through the red things. There we got it. I mean, it was going back to it before, but we still got it back. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need to. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is Orea, please. Transmission terminated. Oh, God. You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. What do you know about Silence? Bourbon said oh, you boy. might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But... You and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Tell me about the daemon! The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. <sighs> she told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. You seem to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here. Years ago, during the war with the Karja, a raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drift, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. Interesting. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. 
So, why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Is there a tall neck in the area? Yes, near the frost figures. But it's been frozen in ice for generations. What does that have to do with anything? It'll help, trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. If you say so, do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Yes! Take it. You may find it useful. Thank you. Let's go see what this weapon is. The Storm Slinger. That sounds pretty interesting. We got six blue gleam as well. Extraordinary reward box. Huh. Little figure of some strange animal. An animal figurine. All right. Ooh. Manuk Storm Slinger, you've acquired a powerful new weapon. Capable of firing new ammunition types. This combat challenge will help you learn its utility and hone your skills. Okay. Let's go ahead and activate that quest. We've got our Banuk Stormslinger weapon box right here. Let's go ahead and take this. We've got the weapon and then also 20 storm bolts. Interesting. How do we switch to it? Shock machines weak to shock damage using storm bolts. Do we have to, we probably have to change. Here's our Banuk Stormslinger. We go ahead and put this in, uh, Probably the blast sling. Ooh, dude, this thing looks pretty sick. How do we use it, though? Oh, it's like a gun. You probably shoot it and and shock people. Okay, that's pretty sick. Let's, um, is there a place we could fast travel to? To go check this out? I'm gonna go, like... Back down to this campfire. Ooh, we've got a big machine over here. A ruin and a lake? No, the ruin is the lake. The old ones are this. These snap laws probably came from somewhere up river. The river find a place. Interesting. Oh, jeez. All right. So obviously, we want to look for machines who are weak to shock damage. These guys aren't necessarily weak to shock damage. Oh, dude, this is this is sketchy. Okay. Can I get a critical hit on this guy. Yeah, these guys these guys are too strong. I'm, I don't I don't want this business. I don't want this business. I'm gonna bounce out of here. But cool, so we got a brand new weapon. Enemies that are weak to shock, we can shock them up. It kind of stuns them for a minute. Then we can run up and get critical hits on them. I think it's gonna be uh, overall good news for us. 
I'm excited about it. So, anyway, we're kind of at a uh, a new new crossroads for the game here. We want to prove ourselves and that we're worthy to, to challenge Eretek or whatever. And then we're probably going to have to challenge him and fight him. So that should be interesting. And then once we do that, we gain access to the area we want to go to. And, um... That's all good, baby. Good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and save before we get in any more trouble. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, we've got some proving to do. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.